chocolate and and it's got to be a top ten. And no pressure then. So the, the, that's the whole point. There's shitloads of pressure. It's a bit worried about how she's been this week. You know the pressure of it all. She's been really down. You know I want to be an artist and known for singing and having good songs, not for getting my kit off. Hi. Do you mind if I marry your daughter? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm upset with you. I, I'm not stupid, aunt. And um, I know, you know, I, I know that something's going on. I haven't been able to say anything just yet, just because um, we've got to keep it under the wrap, you know, under wraps. Because if it gets out, then like our deal with OK will be completely messed up. So, you know, we have yeah, to be careful with that. I just stop you there? Don't, don't you think that your family should become should come before you yeah, deal with OK? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I know that, but you know. Being realistic. Have you have you done it or are you about to? What, yes, what, why don't you just tell me? In Marbella. So I went to Marbella and proposed. That's great. And I just I would like to have a conversation about, you know, the, how you did it and the fact that you you proposed. But it's sad. I'm upset because I think you should have spoken to me and and especially mum and dad even before me. But I think you should have spoken to all the family because other people know. They you know. know about what's happened in Marbella. Everybody, everybody knows. They everybody don't. knows part. No, but they know that you went up to to ask Michelle's parents their hand in marriage. Oh yeah, they know that, but they don't know when. Yeah, but, that's but and, be. right. All I'm going to say is that I, you know, congratulations. I'm really happy for you, but I think the way you've gone about it is all wrong. I know, but if and I and I actually feel sorry for you, Michelle, because I think it's a shame because this is a really, really special time. You should be a really, really happy thing. And, and instead, there's all this shit that comes with it. Honestly, right, Michelle didn't have a clue neither, OK? I've had to plan things, like, for the last, well, you know, couple of weeks without Michelle even knowing. And it's been, you know, I've been getting headaches and all sorts with the tension well, trying to keep it I'm to myself. I'm sorry, but all, all I, I'm not going to go on about it. I'm, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. But I just wish you'd have told me first. You got engaged to Johnny. Did you tell us yeah. you were going to get engaged before you got engaged? Excuse me, I did not know we were getting engaged and it had nothing to do with OK or any deal. Johnny proposed to me because he wanted to marry me. I didn't even know we were getting engaged. Okay, so you can't you can't say that. Fine, but I'm just saying, you know, I've never been engaged before. It's all different. Sorry, but you're out of order. I'm upset with you. Listen. I don't want to I don't want to talk about it anymore because you know, we shouldn't be having this conversation because yeah, like, you're this is a great thing for you. You're really happy. And, you know, congratulations. Say that to Michelle. But I don't want to continue this conversation because it's all wrong and, and it's just, it's a sad. I've got some more news as well. What? Michelle's pregnant. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm joking. It's not really the time for jokes, is it? I'm sorry. OK, well, I, you know, no, I do apologise and I know I was out of order, but... I, I've been stressed out myself and I'm not making excuses because I was out of order, OK? And OK. I'm sorry. All right, we'll say congratulations to Michelle. Okay. And I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Say congratulations from me as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the as well. Take care. Love bye. you. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Oh, God. I'm, I'm really upset with him. You know, he, sh he should really sit down with us and have a good chat. Yeah, right, yeah. Not too bad. I just spoke to Lisa then. I got a bollocking. I got a bollocking. I just think it's wrong. And when, you know, if you two do it, then do it in a bloody nice way. Oh, baby. Oh, she was just a bit upset that I've, I've been quite secretive in, in, you know, not telling anyone 
Are we even going to get engaged? I'm, you know, I'm fucked off that my management and, you know, and media people know about it before I do. Well, it's not a nice way to know down the phone. I mean, for God's sake. It's not. It's just not the way to do it. No, it's no need to get upset. It's, it's you know, they're happy. They just, um, they just wish we would have told them, like, you know, earlier when, when we got engaged. They want us to keep it quiet for OK, basically. So we can't tell anybody. Yeah. Oh, it's just not. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't be silly, listen. No, listen, right? I just think it's a shame for both of them because, you know, they could have done it in a much nicer way. We could have all been sat around now having champagne and, you know. Mm. Are you crying? <laughs> Babe, you don't need to cry, seriously. It's, it's, they're fine, they're happy about it. They're just a bit upset that we didn't tell them earlier, and that's it. Our, our kind of motto is family come first. Yeah. And, and he, I think he's forgotten that. Mm. But, um, you know, I think he, he knows now. So I think it'll take a little while to, um, you know, to kind of get back where we were. Come and rise out. It's uh, Nathan Moore. Andrew? Danny? Nath? Is Tracy in the office today? Colin, I need um, your help. All I needed was this one. Basically, got 19 days to find a record. Do you think you've got anything? You got any other songs around? Whatever you can do, I mean, I'll just push your time out. There was no time to I'll make every phone call, I'll do everything I can. Basically looking for something that you might have just lying around in that hit drawer, you know, that, that drawer you have with all the hits in it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bye. Bye, bye. I think yesterday went quite well there, telling Lisa. It was, it was a big secret. They, they weren't meant to know nothing. You didn't know nothing. The only person that knew what was happening was me. And I couldn't tell anyone just yeah, in exactly. case she'd find out. I think I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised of, of the reactions because... And a little bit upset because, I, you know, when you get engaged, it's a happy moment and you think, you know, everyone should be happy and and kind of you know, kind of taking the moment instead of thinking of, I suppose, I feel like, I feel like she's thinking of, of herself a little bit because she's thinking, oh, well, I should have been told earlier. Well, he obviously wants to do it, you know? Do you think, though? Do you really think? Well, he's his own person. I just want him to be happy. We only waited, like, three or four days to tell him anyway, you know? Mm. And that was because we had to. It wasn't a choice. As soon as we got back, you wanted us to get on the phone to Lisa and tell her. I knew how excited we both were, but we couldn't. But that's what's upsetting as well, because it's like, you know, the response you want when you get engaged is for everyone to say, oh, congratulations, right? And really, the only person that said it... Was your dad Was dad and Steve. And Steve. Well, he told your dad ages ago that it was going to be the longest engagement in history. <laughs> I don't think we shall want to hear that, babe. No, oh, I know, but why get engaged just to keep her happy? Well, I'd want to keep her happy. <laughs> I'm getting upset because it's just so... It's so wrong. It's so wrong to be to, for other people to be feeling angry that they weren't told sooner about something that's happening to us. It's really upsetting, and I just don't get it. It's not like we have jumped into it and people have known that it was going to happen. Did any of them say, are you sure you want to do this? No, but... You promise? Yeah. Look at me. What? Well, I don't yes. Have to yes. OK. <laughs> You'd tell me, though, wouldn't you? Because I'll, I'll find out. Yes. Right, all the other labels have fallen by the wayside. Yeah. We have one option left, OK? I've got no, no choice, you know. I've got to get this single and get the deal. I love Lisa dearly, but she's an artist. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's an artist don't always know what is actually best for you.